EWF Universe, this is a post-recording. Before we get started, I'm wearing a custom shirt from a wrestling event I went to a while back. That's local. Um, yes, we're coming back live, and I want to give an update for the schedule. Well, you know, guys know I'm going to be working constantly on Monday and Tuesday, since yeah, that seems like a thing I'm doing. Sunday is going to be when the YouTube show is going to happen. Quick uh, overview of that. Right there. So, with that being said, we're going to change up the schedule a little bit. I have to talk to the general manager of the Hardcore Show because I'm going to need... I, I can't do Tuesday. So, yeah, the Twitch show is going to be on Fridays. I want to try moving the Hardcore Show on went to Wednesdays. It'll space out. Because Monday and Tuesday, I work constantly now for some odd reason. Yeah, so. I want to do that. I want to put the Hardcore Re Wrestling Inc. show on Wednesday nights. And I'll do the show for the YouTube show Sunday and the Twitch show Friday. So we'll actually put the schedule, the new, the new scheduling up. And then, uh, yeah, that's most likely it for that. There's going to be a massive main event. I'll announce it during the live stream. Once we go live, I'm still in the living room. I'm probably going to turn... I'm, the, the, the card's saved. And I'm probably going to move everything back upstairs to my room. And stuff like that so I don't have to keep being in the living room constantly while I'm doing this. I only moved the PlayStation down in the living room is because it was super hot in my room, but it's been cooling off, so I'm able to put it back in my room. But yeah, with that being said, I hope everyone's going to enjoy this. The show will go on tonight. I promise you that. I'm going to do it right after I'm done eating because I want to relax for a bit. I just got home from doing stuff. I want to sit back, relax, and then once that's taken care of, I'll start doing this because this is going to be a really great episode of the YouTube show, actually. Can't wait. It's going to be tons of fun. We have debuting debuts coming out. Tonight, the first match, I will give you guys the first match rundown. The first match is going to be a triple threat match between a Kane Warlord, Nero, and the and one of the two new debuts, Going by the Bear. I'm trying to find the other one. Yeah, and... One on one, the sixth match will have the. Re it's actually not much of a debut, but more of a, re a grand return. Former, well, I should say, first generation EWF Hall of Famer Dalton Lee is back on the YouTube show taking on Andy York in his first one on one match back. Same, actually, same with Thumba. Andy York, since I have not seen him in so long, he, he, take, he took a long vacation and I didn't talk to him because he was creepy as hell. But he's back now, so next week we're gonna next Sunday is definitely gonna be a different one. Also, I want to add in a note. I did I did want to I did want to save some of the, I'm gonna say the main event for the live stream, but everything else can be talked about. First being the triple threat match. Second, we're going to have the Jolly Rogers, Captain Steel, and Swashbuckler Jack take on the Holiday Crush. AJ Bailey goes one-on-one -on -one with Hannah Matsuda. The women's champion, Jennifer, is doing an open challenge. And the first one to answer the call is actually Jade Bella. The two tag teams that will face off at Fright Night. The Nord and Dragonborn and Nordic Raiders will take on the team of myself and Cole Quinn. The NWO for the Brotherhood Championship. 
But for tonight, it's a non-title match between both tag teams. In the main event, I'm just going to leave out until the show. Major paper, major pay-per-view worthy uh, main event, actually. Major. But, like I said, I'm going to eat first, then do the show. I am growing a mustache, which is freaking weird, but I am growing a mustache nonetheless. I'm growing a mustache with a beard in the little strip thing here. Don't know what's up with that, but that's a little weird and annoying right now. But yeah, we have, we have, I would have to say just a, just a, a, um, a, deb a new debut and then an old debut, I guess. And another thing. Anthony Owens is officially Twitch brand only, so he's only going to be on the Twitch show. I know he was doing fantastic, but someone took the monster spot in the form of Alexander Lovecraft. The Twitch show, he did lose his title on the Twitch show. And he's actually number one contender for the uh, global championship. And who is the current global champion? Harry Wolf. He somehow stole this, he somehow managed to steal the spot from Mad Dog. You know what? Actually, we'll add that, and we'll add, we'll take a, we'll take um a, we'll edit a match. Don't know what match. I don't want to get rid of the Dalton Lee one versus Andy York. I don't want to get rid of the tri the triple threat, so I'm just gonna get rid. Of, uh, let's see, AJ Bailey and um uh. Hannah Matsuda will fight next week. I want to determine a legitimate number one contender for that championship title. So we're going to have Alexander Lovecraft taking on Mad Dog for it. And Mad Dog's been a very tough competitor for that title. He's been, he is a long reigning global champion. And that's saying something. At some point soon, I am probably going to switch over like... Two people from each division. Mad Dog definitely earned his spot in the Immortal section. And then... For the Global Championship, I think I wanted to make it, like, international um, uh, people. But I don't have that many international people to begin with. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious in that regard. So now the third match is going to be Lovecraft versus Mad Dog. If Mad Dog can beat him, that's going to be hilarious. Because that just means Mad Dog can get his spot back. But I have no idea. I'm also going to... While I'm adding off of this, I am going to start constructing the Fright Night um, uh, thing and put it in and put it in for that. Because I think I have the, the whole show together. I think for Fright Night. Ah uh, yes, we are two up. We are two shows away from Hell's Beginning, the pay per view that is coming up very soon for the Hardcore Show. So this is going to be Comrade's first pay per view as general manager. We're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. But yeah, I had to, I have Frightening it all set right. It's supposed to be Hell in a Cell, but I want to want to check and see if I got everything. I did. Okay, so all I, all I have to do is just change the arena. Because the arena is just hell in a cell. So I'm going to construct the arena for it. I'm going to do the same exact thing for the Twitch show, actually. I need to start coming up with names for the Twitch show. 
Now I'm thinking of it. Yeah, I do. Alright. Yeah, and then after that, it's going to be... After the Fright Night pay-per-view, is going to be the pay-per-view at the end of the October car calendar. Trick or Beating, which is the second extreme uh, show pay-per-view that John needs to do. And of course, Thanksgiving Brawl is his third, and then War Series, which will... Actually, he's going to debut both the Hardcore Show and the main show. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because both of our brands are going together in this one, and I have to talk to him about that. So both major shows are going on that. Let me actually put this back with the um, uh, the hardcore show, and then I'll switch it out after this pay per view because I forgot you can only have one um uh, show for it, but. Survivor Series has both brands for Raw and SmackDown. I don't know why I can't have two major shows on it. And of course, that's when. And of course, after War Series, that's when we do the uh, um, uh, fall draft. I do have the names, and I have to add the the Jolly Rogers names, the Bear, a Kane Warlord, Alexander Lovecraft, Dalton Lee. And I think that's actually it for names. I'm not entirely sure. Names of new people. I'll have to check. Uh, I'll actually have to take the papers out and take a look. Jesus. But yeah, let's take a look at the, uh, the how this division is doing. So Jacob Thorne's number one contender. Where is Necro Butcher? He's back down to nine. I'll switch that. Killer Kelly, of course, that stayed. But that didn't. <sighs> He's got 28 people. How many do I have? 56. I wish I was that lucky to have that less, but my show is pretty big. I'm trying to use as much... I'm trying to use everybody as possible. And I think I have. The only two I didn't... He was in a long time was Todd Howard and Thanos, because I'm pretty sure those two were stale. And everyone could agree with me on that. But, yep, that's it for that. This is the report that I'm giving out now. We are in the final episode of September for the main show. And then Wednesday night we'll have the final episode to that. And then... Oh, crap. No, Friday's going to have to be pay-per-views now, because I work Saturdays again. Fuck. Okay, so pay-per-views first, and then Twitch show. Okay. Got it now. I'll put that on the uh, Facebook page. But yeah. Alright, I get it now. And I'm out of here. Alright, guys. Peace out.